Welcome to Einstein's Mechanics. In this episode, we are going to solve a problem on centroids, and we are also going to focus on moment of inertia. So, let's read the problem. Find the moment of inertia of the figure below about the x axis. So, we are to find the moment of inertia about x axis so in the previous episode we talked about how to find the moment of inertia and the various formulas involved so what do we see first you have to analyze the figure and know the formula you are going to use when i look at this figure i'm seeing a rectangle and some semicircles that is being what taken out from the rectangle do you see that so if this is the case we have two of the semicircles taken out and we know that two semicircles are going to give us what a complete circle so we have that idea in mind so if that is the case then I can transform this entire figure to something meaningful to me. First, I can draw the outer rectangle this way. So this is the outer rectangle. And a semicircle is taken out, a semicircle is taken out from the other side. Combining them will be a circle. So meaning complete circle is taken out from this figure this way and what is the radius of the semicircle we can see that it is 15 each meaning the circle has a diameter of what 30 or a radius of 15 so we can have the this is the center of the circle and we are having a diameter of 30 mm we know that the height of the rectangle is giving us 50 mm and this is the width is also giving us what? We have 35 mm. So converting this into this one or a simple version, we can then apply the moment of inertia on a circle and moment of inertia on a rectangle. Please do you get it? It is very simple. So here, let's consider the rectangle. So considering the rectangle, what is the formula for finding the moment of inertia of a rectangle? Now, first, you ask yourself, is the x axis the centroid? Yes. Looking at the axis of the x, it is the center. It is lying because it is symmetrical about the x axis. And the y axis is also what? Symmetrical. So we are lucky. Everything is at the center of the plane figure. So now we can just apply our formulas. Had it been that this x axis is not at the center of the plane figure, we would have located the center and placed the axis there before we do the analysis. All these, I explained them in the centroid and moment of inertia video. So you can go back and refer. So here, it is at the center, so we have to apply our formulas. For a rectangle, the moment of inertia about the x axis is going to be the base height cube on 12. And with this, if we look at the second drawing, that is the free body diagram I drew, you can see that the base is given as 35. And the height is given us of 50, and that is cube on 12. So with this, we are getting our I, 
about the x for the rectangle as 36458 3.3 millimeter to the power 4. The same way we have to consider the circle. So considering the circle, we also have, let me place the axis here, x, x. It is also symmetrical about the axis x, s. So the moment of inertia of a circle about the axis x, s passing through its center is giving us pi d4 on 64. And that is going to be equal to, we have pi, the diameter of the circle is what? 30, 30 to the power 4 on 64. And this is going to give us a value of 39760.78 mm to the power 4. Now we have the moment of inertia of, for the two plane figures being the rectangle and the circle. But when we look at it and from analysis, we can see that the circle is a cutout, right? So we are going to subtract that moment of inertia of the circle from the rectangle. Therefore, I can see that the final, so let me make this as moment of inertia of rectangle r moment of inertia of circle c so the moment of inertia of the whole figure about the x axis is going to be the moment of inertia about the x of the rectangle minus moment of inertia about the x of the circle and that is going to be 36458333 minus 39760.78. Everything is in mm to the power 4. And I'm getting 32458.33. And this is going to be, you can send the answer to Megapascal. So that it will be very simple. So 32482.54 mm to the power 4, which is the same as 3.25 to the power 5 mm 4. So this is the moment of inertia of the plane figure shown. Very simple, right? Yes. All the theory behind this problem is found in the episode of the moment of inertia. The circle is a cutout from a rectangle. So two semicircles combining to form a circle being taken out from a rectangle. We can then find the moment of inertia of the rectangle about the x axis and also find the moment of inertia of the circle about the x axis since the circle is a cutout we subtract from the rectangle to get the remaining moment of inertia so the moment of inertia is the measure of this shape to resist what bending thank you for watching this episode please subscribe to the channel and like the video see you in the next episode